Hello, this is Ed Weiser, and I want to give you an overview of the uh, GHL system so that you can get a better understanding of how it works and uh, how it all comes together. Um, first section in this is a is a uh, basic time settings and longitude and longitude, and uh, if you turn a buzzer on or buzzer off, then the um, second tab is your illumination tab and it's where you can set up various uh, different lighting settings if you have a bunch of different LED lights or you have a bunch of different uh, uh, T5 or lights and wanting to change some of them settings on that if you have the ability to uh, you got light bars you got if you have a the uh, m different functions of like thunderstorms and all kinds of different lighting setups. It could be pretty involved and if you wanted to with the lighting settings. The next tab we get into is the uh, is the uh, timers and the timers let you set different sockets on your uh, on your power bar to different functions and times on and off and that's such. As you can see I have this one set up for my metal halide uh, lighting fixture and then you can have the days of the, the week and different types of uh, normal stop and then you have time intervals that you can set up the, the fixture for. My second timer that I have set up currently is for the um, LED section and you can see it's a little bit different and um, so you can go through a bunch of different timers and change things all everything you want. The next section is for pumps. Now this is for your doser pumps and I, currently on this system I don't have any of my doser pumps set up. I have them on a separate uh, doser all together and I uh, don't have them set up in the Proflux currently but I will in the future and I'll have other episodes where I'll show how you set that up. Uh, the next section is you can go into each section of the doser pumps individually and you can calibrate them, um, you can do manual dosing, you can set up all the different functions and how how many times a day a dosing pump runs and that kind of thing. Okay, the next um, group is for your, um, uh, let's see, this is on for your different volt sockets. This sets up all your different sockets And then you can see your sockets. And then over here you got all your 110 voltage. Then you can get all the different functions there. You can see what you got. It's a general overview of that. And then you can go through and uh, do maintenance settings and uh, go into your sensors. These are overview of uh, all the sensors that I have available on my Profilux uh, 3 right now. I have these different ones installed, the cards installed and everything set up for those and I haven't got them set up yet but uh, in the future I will have, I'll do a video on how you set up uh, all the different probes <clears throat> on your uh, Profilux so that you can see what you got on how to do that. The next here it lets you see how much you want to show on your view, view of uh, the different uh, functions on your on your Profilux and different settings how much you want to turn on or turn off so you can see less or see more it's on the display function of your Profilux uh, control system uh, the next here is your, your my GHL and this uh, is where you can set it up to access your uh, Profilux outside of the uh, your home now this is where in this section here you, you set up your power bar as you can see I've only running 1.45 amps on my metal halide right now and uh, this has been in uh, uh, Proflux for a while now where you can actually see what the current load of each uh, socket is and um, you can also see what my uh, LED is running right now and as you can see it's on timer 2 and timer 1 like I showed you back in the uh, in the previous section so when you double double click on the timer section here, you could, you can change it and show uh, what you, which which timer you wanted to use for that particular socket. And as you can see, I got timer one controls this socket, and I have the 
the type of what it is and then I can you can just also invert that so you got to hit OK and then you have the different timers you can set them all the different ways that you want to for each socket okay and then this as you see here's my timer one and you can see that I've got it set up in the time and it's connected back into the system where the sockets are okay now we're getting into the digital interface and you can get in here and you can change that one one to ten interface and change all the different settings of the drop down box you have your different ones different functions you can do and then you also have the different functions of your different different uh, one to ten interface all the different ones you can change it to whatever one you want and then you said the voltage minimum voltage and a maximum voltage and you just say OK once you set that up and give it a name of what you're trying to control just click OK okay and then you can have uh, digital inputs and you can set up those using the drop down and you can tell it what you want it called is your functions that you can do in the di digital input section and then you give it a name and then you click OK now the next section is a uh, programmable logic if you wanted to really get into doing a lot of fancy uh, uh, programming you can get in here and you can double click on the that and you can set it up hit the change button and you click on the drop down box and then you have all your different functions you can select to use uh, here in the system and uh, then you can just uh, you can also invert that function if you wish to and uh, then you can do it for another level and then you can do a different type what type of a func digital function do you want to use and or nan or not and all the different types of functions you can have and then you can go in and give it a name and you can change everything as you can see here it's showing you another drop down box what you can do and uh, then of course you click in there in this box here and you can give it a name for the, the programmable logic that you've got set up and then once you get finished with that then you can say OK or cancel whatever and then you get that's how you do your um, your functions And then the next section here is how you can set up an, an email through the Profilux itself and uh, send you a, um, a message if you have something alarms like a, a water leak detector detects water or say a temperature rises or you got something that fails on your system and you have it set up so that you can send an email out uh, about what you want to do so that gives you two different and you can also do it on a PC through the PC you also can set it up for times a day and uh, what kind of message repeating messages put your put your email address there in the subject and you can go down here and you can click on and tell you when it went what type of uh, notification you want to send and how often you want to send it and if you want to send it at a certain time of the day you can do that function too and give you a capability to say just send so many times a day you can send it or send it immediately if you wish to so that gives you kind of the overview of all the different ones in the general so one thing I always want to uh, show people on this is uh, the ability to always save after you've done everything on uh, using your Profilux before you uh, finish up for the day of programming once you hit the save changes it'll save it to your Profilux and then that'll be your new uh, settings in the Profilux itself so to always make sure to go back and save them so this is the first uh, video I'm going to do on a, on a series of videos on using the Profilux system so hope you enjoyed this